Hello viewers, today in this video I will help you with the key things that you need to know while creating the customer and vendor masters in the s system using the transaction code BP. Before getting to the details, whosoever did not subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe so as not to miss any videos which may help you in your professional work. As we know that the transaction codes related to customer and vendor masters are no longer available as there is a centralized transaction code. BP is the transaction code which we have to use for all the uh, master data related activities. In this video, let us compare the customer uh, uh, transaction codes and vendor transaction codes XD01BP and XK01BP for better understanding. Let us first execute the transaction codes XD01 and BP simultaneously. In the ECC system, to extend the customer to company code, we need to input the company code in the initial screen. Let me show you on the screen now. In the s 4 system, to extend the customer to company code, we need to select the role FLCU00, clicking on the uh, company code uh, button, then input the company code. Let me show you on the screen. In the ECC system, to extend the customer to sales area, we need to input the sales area in the initial screen. Let me show you on the screen. In the s 4 system, to extend the customer to sales area, we need to uh, select the role FLCU01 and clicking on the uh, sales area data and then input the sales area. Let me show you on the screen. Have you ever thought where to find the uh, customer code uh, in BP? I will show you how to find it. In the general data of the BP under the role FLCU00 or FLCU01. Click on the customer's general data tab in which you will find the customer code and uh, the account code. Let me show you that on the screen. Entering the GSN uh, number in the s 4 system is a bit different. Let me show you in the ECC system once and then uh, we will check in the s 4 system. In the ECC system, we input uh, the GSN number in STCD3 uh, field under the control data data. In the s system, 
we will input the gstn number in the tax number field under the identification tab by choosing the tax type Next thing is industry. Let us compare this with EC system and S4 ANA system as well. Let me show you in the EC system first. In the EC system, we will enter the industry code under the marketing tab in customer's general data. Whereas in the S4 ANA system, we will enter the industry code uh, in BP role by marking uh, the industry as standard. Now this in details. As we know that in the ECC system, we have a dedicated transaction code J1 ID in which we can maintain the uh, excise details and also we can um, activate the SIM details tab right in the customer master screen. Let me show you in the customer master screen. In the S4 ANA system, these details will be in a dedicated uh, tab called Country Specific Enhancement under the Customer Roles. Please make note that the same details are included in the customer general data table in KNA1 and the same uh, tables are no longer updated. Let us check the credit master data first. In the ECC system, there is a dedicated transaction code FD32 in which credit master data is maintained. In the S4 ANA system, we have a dedicated role UKM000 in which credit master data is maintained. Click on credit segment data and maintain the credit limit volume. And the next thing is customer logs. In the ECC system, there is a dedicated transaction code XD05 in which the customer blocks are maintained.
So let us check how to maintain the custom block in the S4 HANA system. In the S4 HANA system, there is a dedicated tab called status in which we can make uh, make the uh, custom blocks and proceed further. as well so the same changes which you have seen in the uh, customer master the same will be replicated in the uh, vendor master as well so these are the new changes that you can find between the ecc system and the s4 HANA system please let me know in the comment section if you want to have a dedicated video on any specific topic in sd module i'll be glad to help you with that thank you for watching this video shining off